Today in Washington, D.C., more than a dozen teenagers have been reported missing, all of them black or Latino. These are just some of their faces we're showing. There was an emotional town hall last night. Members of the community spoke out, telling their city leaders they're afraid for their families because of what they view as an apparent spike in the number of missing kids. Sadly, though, for that community, the chief of police told the crowd that this is far from a new problem. The disturbing fact is that we do have that many kids that go missing in our city, and it's been that way for a long time. We're joined by Trey on White. He is the D.C. City Councilman for District 8, which is uh, one of the areas where a lot of those kids are missing. Uh, Trey, thank you. Or Councilman, I should give you the respect that you're due, sir. Thank you so much for thank joining you. me. Uh, first of all, there's been some confusion about whether there has been an uptick uh, in the amount of missing st uh, kids or if it's that they are increasing the reporting of the amount of missing kids. Did you feel like you got some clarity last night? I think there was a, uh, there's both. I think there uh, is more awareness of what's going on and the presence of social media has made it more forthcoming so people can know what's going on. It's uh, relevant information at, at a, in a timely frame, but it, the reality is the numbers are just too high. And so we have to they face the They are too high. Fact. I mean, you look at, at 2,000 plus every mm -hmm. year. Uh, that is, if it's one child missing, it's, uh, exactly. it's a frustrating and disturbing thing to begin with. Um, is part of the challenge in this the issue that it's how they're reported if the child is deemed a runaway as opposed to a child that has been abducted? Uh, what we see is that uh, not a lot of abductions that's going on. We see a lot of missing persons, mostly African-American girls. What the community is alarmed about, we had a 10-year-old girl missing the other day, but there was no Amber Alert. We just feel like, you know, if this was a white person or from another neighborhood, there'd be more alarm about it. But this has been going on for quite some time with little to no uh, press. And so we've used social media, got the community involved to get the word mm -hmm. out. 